Functional Threshold Power, or FTP for short, is something we often hear people talk about and comparing their stats. But what actually is it and how on earth do we go about testing it? Well, today, over on Zwift, we're going to show you just how. And I've volunteered to take on one of the tests for myself. Dig deep. I just can't go anymore. Functional threshold power might seem like a confusing term, but it can be explained fairly simply. So much so that I only need the science glasses and not the GCN lab coat to explain. When we refer to FTP, we're talking about the maximum power in watts a rider can sustain for approximately a period of one hour. Simple. There is, however, a slightly more complex description for FTP. Essentially, it's the power you produce when you're riding your FTP is when your body is able to remove lactate from the muscles at the same rate that it's producing it. It's that gray area we often find ourselves riding at when if we go a little bit harder, we can only tolerate it for a few moments, a few minutes, whereas if we go a little bit easier, we can sustain it for much longer durations. It's that balance between riding aerobically and anaerobically. It is a really useful stat to know because when training with a power meter, either indoors or outdoors, it tells you how hard your intervals and efforts should be, so you can train smarter and not harder. When you test for your FTP every few weeks or months, it also tells you how much fitter you're getting. Testing for your FTP indoors will likely give you a slightly lower number than outdoors, but most of us don't have a suitable road in the real world to test on, so despite the numbers being lower, indoors is actually really good. It's consistent, so every time you do the test, it will be the same so you can always compare your results. Because so many of us use Zwift, that's what we're going to use today, but also knowing your FTP within Zwift has other uses too. Testing for your FTP is important as understanding an accurate measure of it will really help you compare your effort to others and also guide you to appropriate races, workouts and group rides in the Zwift world. Zwift will automatically estimate your FTP based on 95% of your highest average power of a 20 minute activity on Zwift and it will let you know if it sees any improvements. However, this is unlikely to be your absolute best efforts. So to help you establish a more accurate FTP, there are a few different testing methods out there, some of which you can find over on Zwift with on-screen instructions to help guide you along the way, make sure you get the most out of the effort and complete it in the best possible shape. Let's get into them. First up, the FTP test. Now you start off with a nice thorough warm up to get you ready for the effort, and then you move on to a 20 minute effort. So the aim of this effort is to sustain the maximum power you can for that duration. So you want it to be a nice linear effort, no peaks or drops off in power, followed by a nice cool down. Now the FTP test is the most common method of testing and is suitable for most people. Then you have the FTP test, the shorter version, which is essentially the same as the FTP test that Manon just described, but it's roughly half an hour shorter. So perfect for those of you who are short on time. There's a compressed warm up, a compressed cool down, but still that 20 minute all out effort to calculate your FTP from. Next up, the ramp test. Now this is a slightly different method of testing your FTP and it's particularly good if you struggle to know how to pace your efforts. So you start off with a nice warm up to loosen off the legs and then it's followed by an increase in pace. Now the pace will increase every minute. The power will get harder and harder. It starts off nice and easy, but by the end, it's gonna be pretty tough. And the aim of this is to go until you blow. You're not actually meant to complete the test. When you do reach your limit, Zwift will tell you that you've completed it. You'll do a nice cool down and then Zwift will calculate your FTP. Yeah, if you're doing this one on a smart trainer, the power will be automatically increased every single step until you just can't go any further. And what I'd really recommend when you're completing this test is to try and just concentrate on your cadence, on your leg speed and keep the same rhythm. Because if you switch off for just a moment and you drop your pace down, it can be so, so hard to get back on top of that gear. So remember that one to complete this test successfully. 
Then last up, you have the Ramp Test Light. Now, this is the same as the Ramp Test, but it's tailored towards lighter riders, those under 60 kilograms, and also those who are newer to cycling, who maybe need a bit more of a gentler introduction to the testing protocol. The Ramp Test Light also increases more gradually, so every one minute it'll increase by 10 watts, whereas the Ramp Test increases by 20. The Ramp Test Light also starts at 50 watts, whereas the Ramp Test starts at 100 watts. So those are different ways to test your FTP on Zwift, but now let us give you a few little tips to help you along the way. I definitely recommend using a fan to avoid overheating. Keep yourself as cool as possible and really try to replicate the best conditions, get the most out of yourself. However, you want to try and keep those conditions the same every time you do take on an FTP test. So if you can't find someone to hold a fan right in your face every single time you do one of these tests, then maybe better to put the fan on. Sorry, now. I'm not holding it here for the whole test. You don't, you don't need to, it's not, it's not, yeah, it'll be fine on the ground. Make sure you're not tired. Doing an FTP test really does push you to the limit. So it's probably not best to do the test the day after a hard ride or a race. You also want to be mentally prepared because these FTP tests, they really do hurt. It's also important to do a good thorough warm-up. The ones on Zwift have a proper warm-up programmed into them, but definitely do not go into the main part of the test cold. You will need a power meter or a smart trainer to record accurate power data throughout your FTP test and get that accurate FTP reading by the end of it. For the FTP test and the FTP test shorts, you can use a power meter that's fitted to your bike because you're just doing an all-out effort, hard as you can, get your number by the end of it. However, on the ramp test, you will be better off using a smart trainer as that will change the resistance for you as the test progresses. Make sure to follow the on-screen instructions. This will help guide you throughout the workout and make sure you're doing the right thing. Come on, Connor, one more watt. There we go. Oh, too much, too much. Tell you what, I think I've put off this test for too long now. So full focus, time to get into it. Come on, Connor, up. you got this. Woo, it's getting tricky now. This is crunch time now. Come on, dig deep. Up, up, Come up. on, Connor, you've got this. Come on. 500 watts. I just can't go anymore. Uh, that's the end. That's it. Time to see what my FTP is. Whoo! Whoa. 360 watts. It's not bad, I'm happy with that. Don't forget though, after your test, make sure you get a proper cool down because that is full gas effort. Cool down the muscles properly, take your time, spin the legs out. I recommend repeating one of these every month or so, just to keep track of your fitness levels, see how you're getting on, see if you're improving, see if you need to raise the difficulty level on anything over on Zwift, or maybe take it down a notch right now with some water and some recovery. Okay, so that's my ramp test, my FTP test done over on Zwift, and I managed to come away from it with an FTP of 360 watts, which I'm um, quite pleased with, actually. That's decent, yeah, you should be pleased with that. Hopefully this video has been helpful in helping you find your FTP, but let us know how you get on at doing your tests. Thanks for watching, everyone. I think it's time for you to go and have a shower now, Connor. Have a shower. I've just seen Mo Farah running on Zwift, so I'm going to jump back on the bike and catch him up. So you're going to... Catch him a bit, everyone. You're going to ride and he's going to ride. Well, I need to be quick. I haven't got time to get my shoes on. Come on, Mo, I'm coming for you.